Hey guys, how's it going? So I guess Hindenburg is wrong and SOS is going to the moon. Going to the moon, baby. So SOS <laughs> uh, SOS this morning is getting pumped really hard right now. Up 40 up 45.28%. Uh, I uh, you know, I took the opposite bet. Uh, I saw a huge pump up and I bought some put options on it. Just a small amount, 500 bucks. Uh, this thing could head right to the moon and I could lose my entire position. I just choose to believe Hindenburg and the rest of YouTube that talk about SOS. Probably gonna get a lot of hate on this because you know, there's some people who really believe in this company, believe that it's not a scam and it's like the greatest thing ever after sliced bread. You know, you believe what you want to believe, but it's funny because I made a video a while ago saying that company like Hindenburg will come after this company. And did Hindenburg come after this company? Absolutely, they came after this company. So, obviously... And then it's not only Hindenburg, it's also YouTubers that did their due diligence on this company. And I would rather believe in Hindenburg and that the YouTubers that uh, did their research on this company and call it fraudulent. I mean, there might be some, I'm not saying that this is a 100% fraudulent company. I'm just saying that there might be some truth behind Hindenburg and the YouTubers and this company is not what it seems it appears to be. I mean, yeah, they might be mining Bitcoin. Absolutely. They might be setting up those machines and they might be mining Bitcoin. I'm not saying that that is false at all, but there probably is some information in this company that is false, that is very misleading. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like I said, I put I bought some put options on this. Could I be wrong on this? And I could I lose a hundred percent of my position? Absolutely. This could you know it's up to the market what they want to do. Uh, so I saw this. I bought a put option and it exercised. So we'll see where this goes. But uh, I believe that. This short-term bounce is nothing uh, but an attempt to uh, sh uh, basically short squeeze the short sellers. That's my opinion. SOS did came out today. Uh, they limited respond to misleading and short and distorted allegations. Of course, they are going to come out and they are going to say this. Every company is going to say that uh you know it's misleading uh it's false uh, we are a real company you know it's always going to be like this uh i don't think clover health came out and said anything about hindenburg but uh, hindenburg was successful bringing down clover stock quite dramatically uh it did bounce today cov clove it did bounce today up 67 cents uh, seven point one three percent. Uh, will it keep going up? I don't know. We'll see. At the end of the day, where Clove will go. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, Clove. There must be some kind of uh truth to it because look at the lawsuit that is coming out for Clove. Like lawsuit, 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 lawsuit. Lawsuit. Uh, so I'm just gonna stay away from Clove for a while until you know those lawsuit goes away and the company's stock has found a bottom. Then I may make it back. Uh, may 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 make my position back into the company. But at the moment, I'm staying away from this company. It may jump all the way to twelve, thirteen dollars, fourteen dollars. I don't know. It depends on big money if they want to pump this thing higher and higher and higher. So we'll see. Uh, Bitcoin this morning did do a big recovery bounce because the stock market did a big recovery bounce. But uh, I don't know. This could just be a dead cat bounce. I don't know. Uh, we'll see where the market takes it. I mean, 
it's a nice bounce. Green, uh, green MACD candle. But uh, only time will tell where this goes. Uh, hot 8 this morning is up 6.83 cents. ABB, AABB, this is a company that I bought in at 22 cents. I bought it, I bought a little bit at the top, which I'm embarrassed to say. And then, uh, I bought, but I bought very little bit, like just a little bit, because I thought maybe it'll keep going higher. And then it didn't, and it pulled back to all the way down to 22 cents, and, uh, or even 20 cents, and I bought some at 22 cents, and I'm up like 20 or 30 percent on this position. Uh, this could be a scam. I don't know. I, I done my research on it. I like the company, but, uh, but we'll see where big money pushes the stock. Uh, Mary, Ma Mar Mara is up today, uh, $2.67. CFII had a news today, a new event, and Tricon reposition TII, TIAA Global headquartered in Midtown, Miami, it to be more... S oh, what the... Did I just screw up? Well, anyways, this news is regarding that renovations. Uh, so a lot of people would say would argue that uh, View doesn't do uh, like th there's no point of owners replacing the windows, but renovations have happen all the time. And look at this: energy reduction required to meet New York law, local law ninety seven, which seeks to reduce building base emission by 40% over the next decade and will impact more than 57,000 buildings across the city. The smart windows will also help maintain its LEED gold certification. So think about that, right? Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people in New York is going, a lot of buildings and business owners in New York is going to have to meet this, uh, energy reduction, uh, requirement. And they're going, and View Glass is going to be like, heh 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 heh, we're in that business to reduce energy, and windows really help reduce energy, uh, the you know, overall energy reduction, so, I'm very bullish on this company, I don't know about you guys, I'm very bullish on this company, uh, think about it, SoftBank is a huge company, they put a billion dollars in, uh, the, you know, the Singapore government put another half a billion dollars in, I'm hoping when this company goes public, I'm hoping, uh, you know, ARK invests buys into this company and it explodes to the upside cross my fingers who knows we'll see what happens uh, if that is the scenario I would be very happy and you know very happy because I have decent position in this uh, high tide this morning up 7.5 cents uh, 8, 8 cents very very good day for me uh, a very very good day for all high tide shareholders glad you guys Bought that dip of seventy cents. Like I said, I was thinking, I was saying that 70, 70 cents was a buying opportunity. I did buy it back into my position, uh, but earnings could disappoint. So just be careful. Don't get greedy at this point. Uh, you know, I just, I would just not buy any. I just sit on the side and wait and see what happens tomorrow. And if this thing, uh, if the earnings are uh, awesome, then you you can you know do what you want. I mean, if you think it's gonna, if the, you think the earnings are awesome, and you think uh, the stock is heading higher, then maybe add to your position. I don't know, not financial advice, but I would definitely wait. Don't get greedy at this point. Just wait and see what happens. But, you know, not financial advice, just my opinion. You can do whatever you want. Tat this morning up 12 cents, 2.5, 3 3.41%, 3 up 16 cents. Uh, like I said, I'm not buying at these prices. I bought it at $3 and $2.50. 
I'm going to hold the line because I believe that this comp this product has potential and I'm going to wait and to see how management execute over time. Uh, that is my gamble. Could this thing plummet back to $3? Absolutely. But I would definitely say buying opportunity at $3. We'll see what happens. Uh, Christina Lake today is up four cents, four point four percent. Volume is pretty decent, up seven hundred and seventy-three thousand shares. Uh, <clears throat> that's all I really have to say about that. Uh, anyways, that's all I really have in my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates, and have a great day. Bye.